Somali TV today. Thank you for having me here and salam. Well, um, uh, I am from origin, from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. I was born in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. New York, but my parents came from Puerto Rico. And um, I, but my parents took me back to Puerto Rico when I was uh, seven years old, so that, uh, and I was there until I was 16 years old, which made me forget all my English. So I had to start all over again in my English at age 16. My first language was Spanish. Um, and it was, it, it was um, a few years before I was able to learn English again. That's nice. And what, uh, what is it that you're running? I'm running for state representative house district 62A, uh, which is Lake Street all the way to 94 and Lindale all the way to 55. And that's South Minneapolis? That is kind of sort of uh, midtown Minneapolis, oh, okay. uh, Phillips neighborhood, Okay. basically. And what is the issue that you are comp uh, campaigning for? I'm, I'm campaigning, uh, the, the reason why I'm campaigning? Mm -hmm. or, or the issues that you're campaigning? Issues. Yes. Um, well, I, I, I'm basically in fo focusing on education, education reform, um, education equality, mm -hmm. and skills training, because not everybody's going to want to go to a four-year degree. Mm -hmm. um, and they, sometimes they just want to study something that's a vocational to teach them some kind of skills. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, also immigration reform. I, I know that's a federal issue, but um, as a state, there's a few things that we can do. And there's a few, not just a few, there's a lot of things we can do as a state to help with these immigration reform. And I, I'm passionately about that because I live with immigrants every day. Okay. Um, and I consider myself, even though I'm American, I'm also a, an immigrant too. Absolutely. So uh, if you get elected, what is the things that you're gonna help with the minority people, like Latinos and Somalis? It depends what you call minority, because if you look at this, uh, at the population statistics here in the district I'm running, the minorities are the majority, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but uh, what are things I'm gonna do? I'm gonna listen to their voice, I'm gonna represent their voice. I'll be, I'm gonna be their voice, pretty much. Um, I, I, wanna, I wanna see some change in the education, business growth. Um, I wanna see some, uh, some change in immigration. Uh, maybe per perhaps with the immigrant community, working closer with them in ways and listening to them and seeing in which ways we can help better their situation as immigrants here and integrate them into the community in a way that they feel more welcomed mm -hmm. and that they can live with dignity. Absolutely. So um, let's say if you become elected and would you do everything you say for them. Oh yes, well, one thing about me is I've never been a politician. <laughs> so I, I'm just uh, a concerned citizen. I, I, I wanna run because I've, I know you haven't asked me this question, but, the, but I, I think I should say it, that the reason why I wanna run mm -hmm. is because um, I have a heart for the people. Mm -hmm. I've heard their cry. I've seen a lot of injustice, and, and I want to be a positive. I want to be part of the solution. I'm not the solution. I just want to be part of the solution. And if I get elected, um, I will do my best to represent the people that, are, that, are, uh, that seem to not have a voice. And I will do my best, especially in education and, and uh, community-based prevention mm -hmm. programs. Uh, crime prevention programs, working together with the police department. I'm very passionate about that too. Um, and, uh, and how can we help? Uh, if you get elected, what, was, what would you do about the crimes, like people getting killed all the time in Minneapolis? One thing that I think will work really well mm -hmm. is uh, it's um, black clubs. Mm -hmm. Getting the, the, the whole city of, um, District 62A involved in black clubs mm -hmm. together with the police department and just working with them um, and getting to know your neighbor. 
Uh, because when you get to know your neighbor, then you know, you, you know what's happening and you're able to, um, you're able to help the, the community in a better way with this. If there's a crime or there's something happening, we're all united. And mm -hmm. where, where there is unity, there is this, the strength, you know. And I think that's one of the ways that I really would like to, uh, like the National Day Out, that night out, that would be a good way to start um, getting to know your neighbors, getting to your community, and I, I'm an advocate for that. So, um, so tell us more about the campaign, about uh, how, do, like, if you, how do I put things together, let's say, um, in Minneapolis, there's a lot of community lives there. Yes. And a lot of minority, like Somalis yes. and yes. Latinos, and they probably, all of them need help. Mm -hmm. uh, such some will say housing and jobs and stuff like that. Yes, yes. So how would you help them? I mean, I don't have a, I'm, I'm not the answer to all the problems, mm -hmm. but I want to, I, there's ways, there's ideas, there's things that could be done. And one of the, 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 the ways that I find out very, um, that, that can help is listening to the people, mm -hmm. listening to them, what they're going through, mm -hmm. and trying to get some positive solutions, some, some uh, solutions that will um, help the community have a, live in better neighborhoods um, and, and with, with the dignity that they deserve. And I'm not understanding, I don't know if I'm understanding well your question, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. in terms of like I'm not here coming like a messiah. I'm coming <laughs> here as someone who is part of the community, yes. and I just want to be part of the solution. And and I and one of the things I want to do is listen, listen to them, and, and I, like I have been, and 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 I've gone through the same things that they've gone through. Mm -hmm. I I can identify with everything that they're going through. Uh, so I know some things, but I don't know them all. And I want to listen to the community, and, and I would listen to them and find out ways together, as a community, mm -hmm. together. What message would you give to the women in the area, since you're a woman, and like education-wise, and, and if being a mother, some of them, you say you, you learn English when you were young, mm -hmm. and some of them, they want to go to work and stuff like that. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> they can be, they can, they can study. They, there's ways. Today a days, there's so many ways you can study. If you have kids and you can't find a babysitter, there's always online courses. There's just a way. I, my advice to women is you can become what you want to be. Your dreams in the United States are, are going to happen if you, if you just believe in yourself. And I think, um, in my case, you know, I had to believe in myself and I have to believe in myself every day. And you're going to hear voices that are going to tell you other, otherwise. But um, my advice to them is also, you know, let me know, let us know, let the people in government know mm -hmm. what their struggles are so we can come together with a plan to okay. help you. So are you running like how Republican or Democratic or independent? I'm independent. Okay. So um, can you tell us a little bit about the independent? What it independent, uh, what do you want to know about? Like, like uh, if some maybe don't know, like when they say independent, they, are, they hear in the democratic and republican. Yeah. So they might not. I've, I've been finding out that people are more ready than ever for something different, mm -hmm. especially in our district. OK. Um, at least the people that I've been talking to, I've, I've heard only positive things when I tell them I'm not from this side, I'm not from this side, I'm, I'm just for the people. That's I just want to be real. I'm not even a politician. I'm real, and that's what I want to be. Uh, so like I said before, I've never been a politician. Mm -hmm. I'm just someone who's concerned for, the, for what's going on in our community, and I want to be part of the solution. And, and I, I don't know it all, but I, I'm learning, and I, and I want to hear. I want to listen to the people. Absolutely, that's a good. So, what would you leave? The, what message do you leave right now? What message would you tell everybody? Well, I need your vote. <laughs> I need your support. I have a fundraising coming up now on the 17th in Maria's at 6 p.m. 
and I invite you to come this Thursday um, and support me. Uh, you can go to my website, vote number four cologne uh, dot com, and uh, make a, don a donation and contribution and participate in the PCR program, which you will get reimbursed if you give fifty dollars. Um, you can get reimbursed if you're a citizen, and if you're a married couple, you can get reimbursed up to $100 if you're also a citizen. But you will be able to contribute to this campaign. I want to be a voice for you, and, and uh, I need your support. Thank you. It was nice having you here today. Thank you, you know, for having me here. No problem. And Thank happy you. Ramadan. <laughs> Thank you.